beginning to master the frame by frame technique, which is where we insert a keyframe. And then what do I want it to look like on the second frame? So I move its location, I can change its color, I can rotate it. So on frame three, what do I want it to look like? Do I want it to be bigger? Do I want it to start to rotate? Do I want to change its color? Um, so insert a keyframe. Now what do I want it to do? I want it to be moving, I want it to be bigger, uh, change its color. So if I play this, that's frame by frame animation. We've done that before. But here's the new aspect of it. There's this button right here. It's called onion skin, the onion skin button. It's a, a toggle. I can toggle it on and I can toggle it off. And when you do that, I have it on now. I have this range of frames that it's taking a look at. So it's showing you I'm on currently frame number four, but it's showing you what three and two look like as well. And I can drag this up here. I want to see one as well. I can drag this around so it shows me exactly what I want to see. That way, when I go to frame five and I make a duplicate, so I insert a keyframe, it jumped a little bit, but now I know when I move this where my last one was and what it kind of looked like. I can't really see its color, but I can move it and I get a better sense. I can add the detail in that that I want to. And I can toggle this off and I can see that it only has really one rectangle shape that it had, but I'm able to see with the onion skinning button exactly where my I made a duplicate. I want it to be out a little bit further. I want it to be rotated. I want it to be a different color. Um, I can see all of the keyframes or I can just see two or three or I can see exactly what I want to. And that's with the help of the onion skinning button.